It's a Saturday and um, I have an apron on. Yes, who could imagine that I would be stood um, in one of the suburbs of uh, Banyaluka, somewhere called Kumsala, if you want to check it out on Google Maps. Um, and I'm here spending the day learning about how to make traditional Serbian uh, or regional uh, cuisine. Um, and it's quite an eye-opener. Um, on the way here today, I was very, very nervous, and I thought, can I do this, can I not, I mean, should I turn around and go home? But I'm so glad that I didn't, because so far, uh, I've made a starter. Uh, I've taken part in making the uh, local equivalent of deep-fried uh, bread balls, and there's fish to come, and a lot more. But why am I here? Well, I've been invited here by the... Uh, tourism organization of the Republic of Srpska. If you've been checking back on, on my content many, many years, you'll know that I used to mention somebody called Anna, who at that time uh, uh, had, I don't know how long she'd been working at a tourism organization, but we had a lot, a lot of chats about how to promote this region. So today, once again, I'm caught, I've caught up with Anna Lakic, who's invited me here. Anna, tourism normally is about um, telling people about locations and all the wonderful things um, that they can see but here it's slightly different this is not telling people to walk around monuments visit museums or anything like that this is something completely different why did you decide to choose food to promote the Republic of Srpska? Uh, hello to everybody to your listeners and to you uh, welcoming from uh, Kuchinica that's a new place in the city of Banja Luka. And this is the place where you can try to cook uh, our local gastronomy. And also all domestic from Banja Luka citizens can try to cook some other world cuisine, such as uh, Spanish, Italian or some other type. And as you mentioned, and you're living here for a long time now and you know the gastronomy of uh, our um, this local this region and uh, uh, today you are going to try to cook uh, also some uh, specialties from Herzegovina region and also from Krajina region and from Postavina. Uh, our cuisine is mixture between the Orient and the West so we have a lot of um, Orient uh, mixture cuisine such as uh, sarma that's something uh, I think from Iran and also very famous in Turkey but in Herzegovina you are putting meat inside of um, uh, vinova loza uh, wine um, leaves, wine leaves yeah. yes and here you're going to put it in inside the cabbage sour cabbage so it's a little bit different but uh, the gastronomy is of course the, the main the main things that you offer to tourists and to your visitors and of course we are especially proud of our cuisine because you can eat very good and uh, the prices here are I think uh, pretty normal for every citizen and especially for the tourists. You know when people visit countries I've noticed this Americans Canadians even Germans most people gravitate to the menu and look for things that they are familiar with you know steaks and pastas and things like that but really when you come to visit a new area you should really you know immerse yourself uh, uh, in the culture this seems to be a very very exciting project for you in other words to say to people why do you want to eat a steak when you can eat a burek? Why do you want to eat pasta when you can eat something from Herzegovina that is, as you say, a mixture of both East and West? How difficult was it for the tourism organization to take this leap into gastro? Uh, well, with gastronomy, it's very easy, actually, to do because the food is delicious. So it's, I think, the, the most easiest way to promote it because you can try it and uh, we don't need to give you more words when you try the, the cuisine and the dishes. So I think it's um, the, the easiest way to promote and to convince someone that it's worth to stay here. With this uh, menu that we're putting together today, there are uh, some, there is something rather from uh, Herzegovina. From the people that I've met, when you meet, when you say Herzegovina, the, they have a completely different connotation of where we mean because Herzegovina is also part of the Republic of Srpska so it's very much in their interest if they come to Banja Luka to find time to go south to eat something different. 
Uh, yes, Herzegovina region is geographical region and it's totally different than this Kraina region where we are now. And of course, Podrinje and Posavina, they have their own specialties. And all this cuisine we put in one gastronomy guide in a brochure and it's on the website, it's on the printed, uh, in printed version also and uh, we explain everything about uh, these local differences between the regions in the country and um, yes, mostly it's about the pastries, about the pies, about the different types of pies, you can fill it with almost everything that grows around you and uh, the food is still, I think, uh, very organic. It's a popular thing to, to say now, but uh, you can uh, you can really buy on the green markets in Republic of Srpska um, food that the locals are growing in their fields. So I think that's the the, mo the biggest point of our cuisine that we still have something um, from very clean water and the air and something without pesticides. So. I think that's the, that's the, the the biggest plus for for this for our gastronomy. I think the chef's going to ask me to go back now and start the next thing. I'm going to put you on the spot. You don't know what I'm going to ask you, so if you have to take a few seconds, please do. If you had to recommend one thing to eat for a foreigner, for a tourist to try, what would it be? One thing. Where that's that's very difficult. Uh, such, I think such. It's it's um, both vegetables and uh, meat put under the um, under like it's like a bell. It's like a big bell, and you put it under the fire, and it cooked for um, two, three, or four hours, and everything is so soft and juicy, and you can choose either vegetable or or meat. I think that's that's the best thing. You gave the right answer. <laughs> I I love such, especially teletina, veal under such, and I know we're going to be both busy. Catch you soon. Thank you very much. See you soon.